68 cars leave the pit and move smoothly into the first turn behind the pace car. Bill France, president of NASCAR, the National Association for Stock Cars, leads them around. On the pole position, inside front row, Carl Burris, car number 20. Banjo Matthews, Fireball Roberts, and Marion Farr complete the first two rows. When the pace car dives into the pit road on the next go-round, the green flag will turn them loose. Moving smartly out of the long first and second turn, they reach the backstretch of the two-and-a-half-mile speedway completed only one year ago. They're moving faster now, riding higher on the 31-degree bank turn, designed for speeds of 200 miles an hour. The pace car's off the track. Here they come. They're racing. Andrew Matthews grabs the lead. Fireball Roberts right behind him as they climb the bank into the first turn. On the back stretch, 68 cars play follow the leader at 150 miles an hour. Out of the fourth turn, end of lap one. The leader's at record speed, but the rest of the field is in trouble back in the fourth turn. Some drivers free themselves from the wrecked cars to find out, is anyone hurt? There's a serious threat of fire. Fuel tanks were split by the impact. All drivers accounted for, only eight of the 37 drivers suffered even minor cuts and bruises. And perhaps most amazing of all, no fire. Roll bars, crash helmets, seat belts, and lady luck saved lives this afternoon. 24 of the 37 cars are wrecked. 12 are totally demolished. The others are moved to their pits for quick repair, if possible.